Okay, let's talk about the difference between exoteric and esoteric forms of spirituality and religion and how to tell the difference between them. The work that we do is esoteric, Christian, hermetic, Kabbalah. That's a lot of words and they all have particular meanings, but most importantly, it is esoteric. And so let's talk about the difference between esoteric and exoteric. Exoteric are mostly the organized religious forms. And one of the ways you can tell the difference is how the path treats divine wisdom, knowledge, or ultimate truth. So for exoteric practices, including most religions and as their practice typically with mosques, temples, churches, the definition of the ultimate spiritual truth is defined by the scripture, by the passed down knowledge orally or written of wisdom from the teachers or experts in that path, rather than the lived experience of the current practitioner. Now there are some forms of exoteric religion that seem to emphasize direct experience. This can be like, for example, charismatic, some forms of charismatic Christianity, which the experience of the Holy Spirit is emphasized. One way you can tell the difference is that for an exoteric path that emphasizes direct experience, the direct experience has to always match up with or be support subordinate to the written form. So if a, um, if a, charismatic Christian has experience with the Holy Spirit that contradicts the Bible, that is nullified, is not correct. So ultimately, truth is, is held by the scripture itself or the people who are empowered to interpret that scripture. In esoteric forms, it's the opposite. So the written word, the including scripture and the wisdom passed down from previous teachers and mm, practitioners, people who have mastered different aspects of the practice, they may offer structure, they may codify or organize the ideas and a sort of general sense of theological structure. But ultimately, the practitioner's experience is is held above the general knowledge. So if a, if a person has developed a great deal of ability to work in meditation, work with the higher truths, kind of reduced ego, you know, they're doing, they've done the work, and they receive something that contradicts what's written, that experience is held as more valid in the esoteric practices than the written scripture or the, the writings of the masters. The passed down knowledge and wisdom is really meant to help organize the direct experience of the practitioner rather than to define what is acceptable and not acceptable experiences. And that's the major difference.